Have you ever opened LinkedIn Sales Navigator, ready to find leads, only to feel completely lost? With over a billion leads in 65 million organizations, Sales Navigator is a goldmine, but only if you know how to use it right. Hey everyone, my name is Cole, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to generate leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. All right, now that you're set on using Sales Navigator, let's cover some of the basics. On your LinkedIn homepage, click the Sales Navigator icon in the top right corner to enter the platform. If you're new to Sales Navigator or don't have a subscription, start with the core plan. It's the most cost-effective and gives you full database access, which is 90% of the tool's real power. Pricing ranges from $80 to $130 per month, but there's a one month free trial, so you can test it out risk-free. Inside Sales Navigator, you'll see two sections, the search bar at the top and the all alerts window below. The search bar is where we'll build targeted lead lists, while the alerts window keeps you updated on saved leads and accounts. Speaking of accounts, Sales Navigator refers to companies as accounts, so keep that in mind when navigating the platform. The alerts window can be helpful, but it also gets cluttered with unnecessary notifications. To clean it up, click the settings button inside the panel and adjust your preferences. I recommend disabling email notifications as no one really needs 10 emails a day from LinkedIn. Then scroll through the options and toggle only the alerts that matter to you. While in settings, check your plan details under the seller's profile tab. Here you'll find your account type, remaining email credits, and an option to add product or service details to customize LinkedIn's insights. If you're on the core plan, you get 50 emails per month with unused credits rolling over up to 150 total. I'll cover emails in more detail later, but for now, just know that they don't expire immediately, so there's no rush to use them all at once. Now that you've had a chance to explore a bit, let's move on to building your first targeted lead search. Now comes the real power of Sales Navigator, filtering through millions of leads to zero in on the exact decision makers you need to reach. To start, click Lead Filters to access the search page, where you'll find over 36 filters to refine your search. If you don't see them all, click the small arrow at the top to expand your options. Since not every filter is necessary, I'll just focus on the most important ones for building a high converting lead list. But don't worry, if you want a full breakdown, I'll leave a detailed guide in the description. So some of the key filters you'll want to use include company headcount, function, current job title, seniority level, industry, and geography. To put this into action, let's use a real world example. Imagine I've created a product called Whispers Dumbbells, a set of dumbbells that whisper motivational quotes while you're working out. My next step is to find gym decision makers who might be interested in stocking them. Since I prefer meeting my first clients in person, I'll start by applying the geography filter to the Los Angeles metropolitan area. This initially gives me over 11 million results, which is way too broad so I'll refine it further. Next, I'll use the industry filter and select wellness and fitness services. While this helps, it still includes yoga studios, spas, and personal trainers. So I'll use the keyword search bar and enter gym to ensure that I'm only seeing businesses specifically related to gyms. Now that I've narrowed my search by location, industry, and keyword relevance, I need to focus on the right type of businesses. Since I'm just starting out, I don't wanna target large corporate gym chains with long approval processes and strict procurement policies. Instead, I wanna connect with smaller independent gyms that are more flexible and open to trying something new. To filter out large gym franchises, I'll set the company headcount filter to less than 50 employees. This removes corporate chains, ensuring I'm reaching small to mid-sized businesses that are more likely to make quick purchasing decisions. Finally, I need to ensure I'm reaching the right people. To do this, I'll apply the seniority level filter and target directors, CXOs, vice presidents, owners and partners. This ensures I'm talking to decision makers who have the authority to purchase my product rather than low level employees. After applying these filters, my once broad and generic search has now turned into a highly targeted list of almost 500 gym decision makers. Not to mention, they're all perfectly aligned with my product. Instead of wasting time reaching out to the wrong people, I now have a handpicked list of high potential leads. So now that we've built this ultra targeted lead search, the next step is to save and organize these leads so we can track them and follow up efficiently. So Sales Navigator allows you to save leads manually by selecting each one and clicking save to list. Now, while this is useful for combining leads from different searches, it's pretty slow since you have to do it page by page. A better method is to save the entire search, which automatically updates when new leads match your criteria. You can access these anytime in the save searches section without rerunning searches manually. Boolean search is one of Sales Navigator's most powerful tools, and once mastered, it helps eliminate irrelevant profiles and pinpoint the right decision makers with precision. But most notably, Boolean search lets you combine keywords using and, or, and not, making searches far more specific than default filters. So let's break it down. Using and ensures all search terms appear in a profile. If you want gym decision makers involved in fitness programs, you'd search for gym and fitness program. With or, you expand results by including either keyword. Searching gym or fitness center 
multiples profiles mentioning one or both. Now the not operator excludes unwanted terms from your search results. If you want gyms but not yoga studios, search gym not yoga. And finally, quotation marks force exact phrase matching. Searching gym owner ensures those words appear together instead of separately across a profile. Now let's apply this to our whispers dumbbells example. If we want decision makers at gyms with wellness programs or fitness training but no yoga studios, we'd search for the following. Gym owner and gym and wellness program or fitness training not yoga. But here's a pro tip. For complex searches, draft your queries in something like a Word document first to avoid errors before pasting them back into Sales Navigator. Now, a common mistake is using the keyword filter for Boolean searches. This actually searches the entire profile, leading to irrelevant results like a programmer who once took a fitness course. Instead, use specific input fields like job title to keep searches relevant. Mastering Boolean search takes practice, so experiment with different combinations to refine your outreach. Now, before we wrap up, let's talk about blacklisting competitors, partners, or irrelevant industry figures. To do this, head to account search and add companies you want to exclude. For example, I'll blacklist direct competitors like ProLonFast and Still Life Inc., along with partners like Pro Gym Brentwood to avoid confusion. I'll also exclude gyms with similar equipment, such as Armory Gym and Motion LA. Now, over time, your blacklist can grow to hundreds of companies, ensuring your outreach stays fresh and relevant. To apply it, use the account list filter to exclude these companies from your searches. And that's it. Now you know how to build, refine, and export highly targeted lead lists using Boolean search. Once you combine Boolean logic with Sales Navigator's filters, you'll generate hyper-relevant leads in minutes, making your outreach faster, more effective, and highly strategic. So far, we focused on Sales Navigator's search engine, but the platform also provides powerful insights on companies and individual leads, helping you prioritize the right prospects and optimize your outreach. Clicking on a company profile takes you to the account page, where you'll find tools designed to analyze a company's structure and their activity. One of the most valuable features is the Relationship Explorer. This lets you search only within a specific company, helping you identify the key decision makers without sifting through unrelated profiles. Once you find potential leads, you can even save them directly to a list for future outreach. Now, another useful tool is the Account Map, which allows you to visually organize contacts within a company by seniority or by relevance. This helps ensure you're targeting the right people in the right order. And since the map is permanently saved, you can track your progress and adjust your strategy as needed. Now, scrolling down, the Growth Insights section provides key data on a company's headcount trends, showing you which departments are expanding or shrinking. If a company's sales team is growing, it could indicate that they're in the market for new tools or training programs, making it an ideal time to reach out. Beyond Growth Insights, the account page also includes activity updates and similar account suggestions, which can help you stay on top of your industry trends and discover new prospects in related markets. Now, let's move on to the lead page, which you can access by clicking on any leads profile. At the top, you'll see your last interaction with that person, which helps you track conversations and follow-ups, preventing repetitive or out-of-context messages. You can also add the lead to a list or write custom notes directly on their profile, allowing you to track key updates and plan future outreach. Further down, you'll find insights on the lead's LinkedIn activity and recent updates. But one of the most valuable tools is the Get Introduced section which helps you identify mutual connections who can introduce you to the lead. Instead of sending a cold message, leveraging an existing relationship makes it much easier to start a conversation and build rapport. So by using these account and lead insights strategically, you can prioritize high potential prospects, time your outreach effectively, and personalize your messaging, setting yourself apart from generic outreach attempts. With these tools in place, let's move on to optimizing your outreach strategy and making your LinkedIn prospecting even more effective. Last but not least, let's talk about emails, one of Sales Navigator's most valuable features. With the core plan, you get 50 emails per month, allowing you to message anyone on LinkedIn, even if you're not connected. This makes emails a powerful tool for cold outreach, especially for reaching high-level decision makers who might want to ignore connection requests from strangers. Now, since emails are limited, it's best to use them strategically on high-value prospects rather than sending generic messages to every lead. But while emails expand your reach, they aren't the most scalable option for lead generation. We've actually made a full video on how to send hundreds of emails per month, so check the link in the description if you want to maximize your LinkedIn outreach. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more actionable sales tips. As always, thanks for watching, happy prospecting, and I'll see you in the next video.